one of the things that can be very, very helpful is if your child is having spells, and certainly not all spells are seizures, it can be very, very helpful to try and videotape those spells um, and um, uh, make, a, um, note, make a note as to what types of things tend to bring on those spells, if there's any sort of triggers, what is the child like afterwards. But if you can get a, a clear videotape of the child having a spell, you're trying to interact with them, they're not responding to you, um, that can be very, very helpful. Um, I think also for your primary care provider or your pediatrician, um, you know, having them order an EEG. Um, an EEG is not always abnormal in somebody with, with epilepsy, but it often is. And it um, can tell you, sometimes it can show more subtle seizures. Sometimes it will help confirm the diagnosis of epilepsy. But if that EEG is um, significantly abnormal, Sometimes that will help kind of move you up the line as well and, and getting in quicker. Um, I think that, you know, if your child is having recurrent, particularly those bigger seizures, the generalized tonic-clonic seizures or convulsive seizures, you know, that's something you don't want to be waiting a long time to try and sort out exactly what's going on. Um, and that would be something that I think if, if your child is having an increased frequency of those, you want to push the try and get in to see a neurologist. And if you can't, maybe take your child to the emergency room.